Hello everyone. Um, this is Shay. This is Earthy Shay Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. Subscribe, like this video. Um, I was going to do a collection video of Oracle decks. We have 10 that we're going to go through in this video, mostly spring type decks. And my next video will be the next phase of my next 10. Yes, I have a lot of oracles. And we're going to start here in the spring since it's well, you know, spring, and um, let's just have some fun with this. Why not, you know, let's see collection videos. I love collection videos, so here we go. And I'm going to start off with the Whispers of Healing Oracle. This is a very beautiful deck. It is Blue Angel, so it's a bit sticky, but not anymore. I've had this one for quite a while. I mean, look at these backs. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh couple are upside down but that's okay <laughs> we can we'll survive right, right now. But it's just oh, look how pretty these are i just want to make sure it's in frame beautiful card i wish i could hang that on my wall yes and some are panoramic which is it's interesting it's different but it's a very like i guess i get a fairy vibe from it too but just kind of airy and earthy and just beautiful. Whole elements there. So I plan on using that for the spring. Again, beautiful deck. Very spring type deck. And that is the Whispers of a Healing Oracle. And that is by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. My next oracle um, is a, let's see if I can get it here. It's another Blue Angel and it's the Gaia Oracle. And I, it gives me a very spring, kind of very rejuvenating feel. So I figured I'd pull it out for the spring selection. And this oracle is by Tony Carmine Salerno. And it is another beautiful deck. It's a brand new deck. I just started working on it this week. Because like I said, it's brand new. Um, those are the backs. I'm like, yeah, isn't that pretty? That is the back. And they're just really pretty cards. I might trim these just like the others, but I haven't decided yet. Like I trimmed the Sacred Rebels deck and I've trimmed a couple of my... Wisdom of the Fairies from Blue Angel. I might do it to these as well. I haven't decided yet just because of the numbers up here and I just, uh, I want to be able to find them easily in the guidebook. I just, that oh, effect is amazing. There is one of these cards that came a little funky, like damaged, which I thought was interesting, but it's not the card. It was just the color. It was like the back was bleached a little bit. I thought it made it very interesting. Blah! Now I can't find it. There it is. See? It's like bleached right, just right there in the corner. I thought that was interesting. Uh, I wonder what card that is. Let's find out. Thinking of you. A loving thought. Serendipity. Hmm. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay. And that is the Gaia Oracle by Blue Angel. Another spring deck that I have used quite a bit actually is the um, Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. This is a Hay House Publishing. And by the way, Hay House, everything is 50% off this week. I'm not sure how long that will last, so get out as fast as you can and grab these suckers up. Um, Spirit Animal Oracle. Beautiful, beautiful backs. I just love this back and I love how these feel. This is that matte, soft type finish. And it's just, these cards are so amazing. I just love every single one of them. Even the ones with little interesting things on there like crowns and feathers <laughs> that they wouldn't normally, normally have. Um, but I just adore this deck. It's so pretty. Love that one. See a crown. <laughs> it's still it's so cute though. I just love it. White raven, swan with flowers, <clears throat> crown. 
hog. That's cute. He's got a little necklace and a little thing on his forehead. Eel. Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen this card. Interesting. But yeah, I love this deck. It's it's a very thick deck. There is a lot of cards in this one. I mean, a lot of cards. <laughs> but beautiful. There we go. And that's the Animal Spirit Oracle by Colette Baron Reed from Hay House. Okay, next one is the Botanical Inspirations cards. I've already used this one for February. I still keep pulling it out because it's kind of one of those um, hug decks that I love. Um, not too fond of the backs, but eh, I get over it. And these are just beautiful cards with great keywords, little comments, little quotes at the bottom. And this is little cards that have little on them but say so much, you know. <laughs> Just, they just go really well with each reading that I do, and I really enjoy a very, very spring type deck. Um, the next one I have is a independent deck from Etsy. It's the Root and Wings by um, Catrills. Um, what is that? Catrials.com. I got it off of Etsy. Just Google. Um, Roots and Wings Oracle. Ah, let me see who does it. Is it just Catrials? I believe so. Hmm. But yeah, um, these are the bags. Aren't those the, like, the most fantastic bag <laughs> ever? And these have that rose petal finish, but they're easy to shuffle. I mean, I just... These are super soft. And this deck is a dream to shuffle. I'm just saying. I know you've probably seen so many pictures of this deck, but this deck is fantastic to shuffle. Wisdom, duality. It's a minimalistic deck, but again, it, it, there's so much said in such a simple picture. Just and they're just so great, and it's very springy to me, very, I love that card, um, refreshing for this time of year. Here comes the sun. Okay. That is the Roots and Wings by Katriana. Katriana? Katrials.com. Also on Etsy. Okay. Another independent deck I have that's very springy to me is the Souls Trees Oracle. I do have a walkthrough of this deck on here. And if you guys see any of these decks that you want me to do full walkthrough of, I will just say so down in the comments and I will do that. But again, Soul Tree Oracles off Etsy um, by Allison Williams E. Um, beautiful deck. I love this deck. This is probably one of my favorite decks. Um, this, these are the backs. Just this tree on both ways. Just it's so pretty. And of course I have it upside down. And it's just words and a representation of trees for each of these words. And it's a very good clarifier. Do I have these upside down? <laughs> um, so I use this as a clarifying um, deck a lot. I did not. I think it's just that top card. So I, I'm when I'm confused with the... Oh, I think I have these intentionally upside down and right side for a reason in my last reading I wanted to show them <clears throat> reversals as well I'm trying to learn intuitively of reversals as well but uh, it's a slow process you know tranquility I do like I said I have a walkthrough and I can post that at the bottom for this deck and again this is Soul Trees Oracle on Etsy by Allison Williams Yee Okay, next I have is this little guy. This is called the Curious Oracle. This oracle is adorbs. And it comes with just this little 
paper guide so that you can get more out of each card, but each card does have a um, what it is and a keyword at the bottom. But if you want to get deeper, you just follow this. Um, you go magic is seven, which is down here, and six, the ruby cup. Here it is. The ruby cup is magic. Magic is a foot and miracles abound. So that is that card down there. And it comes with this little guide. It's kind of nice. I just keep it with it in this little bag. And it's so cute. I use this one for travel. Um, it just cute little cards. They're great card stock. Really soft. I just so great. Alright. So that is the Curious Oracle. Oh, you don't know who it's by, do you? I know her name is Holly. Holly, 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 Holly. I don't know. It's not on here. Darn it. Oh, Holly Defount. And again, I think I or went to her website. Just Google the Curious Oracle and you probably find it on there. Um, let's see, a couple more decks here. I have another independent deck. This is by Jamie Sawyer. This is Sawyer's, um, Nature Portals. Um, this is a very intuitive deck, but it's very springy. It's my, one of my few round decks, and this one is a great round deck because I just love this cardstock for a round deck. And it's just, these animals just make me think of... Things coming to life. Spring is here. Time to get out. Get outdoors. I just, yeah, such a cute deck. And, um, like I said, there's no keywords or anything, but there is a PDF that you can follow to, um, it's like a journal, and you can go online and journal about each pick of each card. And that is Jamie Sawyer's Nature Portals. Sawyer's nature portal oh my gosh i can't talk okay the next one i have is another independent yeah i have a lot of independent oracles it's by <clears throat> the plant spirit oracle by dana driscoll beautiful box i love these boxes and this is probably one of my all-time favorite box i mean isn't that just beautiful i just love that so much i'm kind of i know i'm surprised green isn't my favorite color but it's just i love that so beautiful these are beautiful cards um usually with uh, herbs and just three usually keywords at the bottom for each and it's just so man magnificent i love the feel of these cards great card stock um they're just beautiful Turkey. yeah so it's not all herbs i'm sorry um water see those are herbs tobacco there's one that made my daughter just giggle when I showed it to her. I wonder if I could find it. And it was cannabis. <laughs> I showed it to her and she just like giggled. I'm just surprised that they would have cannabis in here, but they do. I think it's like calm serenity or something like that. I like, look. Oh, just, I mean, look at that oak. Beautiful. I can't find it. You know how that is. You want the car, you can't find it. But these are just great. There's just such a large variety. This is a brand new deck for me, so I'm just learning it, and I just I've been having fun with it. And it does doesn't come with a guidebook, but you can buy one. And this is one I got off for her website too. They were half not they're discounted because she had some that came in damaged. Oh, I can't find the cannabis card. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah, my daughter. She's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe there's a cannabis card. <laughs> but yeah, this is called the Plant Spirit Oracle by Dana O'Driscoll on Etsy. You can get this one on Etsy. Okay, I think I'm on my last deck for this video um let's see here and this is an oldie uh, it's called the power of flowers
Powers Oracle. Um, I got this one off of eBay a while back. Um, let's see, and it's an archaeotype journal journey through nature by U.S. Games. I mean, this is you can tell it's an old deck. It's just super old. I don't think it has the year. Hmm, printed in Switzerland, U.S. Games. I don't know. There's a book. Let me look at that. I don't know. It doesn't really have a year on my inside. Nineteen ninety nine. Okay, so it's not too old. It just seems old because the backs have yellowed a bit, and it is called the Power Flowers, and it, it's okay. Um, I've enjoyed it so far. <clears throat> this is one that I might let go of. I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um, I, I know I have a um, anti haul video planned coming in the next month or so. And this might be in there. Um, I just tried working with it, but um, this reminds me of this. I grew up in Arizona, and this one reminds me of it. So Oro cacti. But um, yeah, if my daughter decides that she doesn't want it, I might just put that up. It's an older deck. I have never seen this deck before. Oh, <laughs> there you go. And. Yeah, it's not bad. Power of Flowers Oracle. And if you guys want me again to do a walkthrough of this one or any of the others that I have mentioned in this video, just let me know and we will, I will do a walkthrough. But that is again, the Power of Flowers. Um, it's just a U.S. game stack. I guess it's created by Isha Lerner. It's from 1999. Illustrated by Karen Forkish. I don't have my glasses, so I'm trying to read that. Those are back. I do love the bags. Okay, and that is it for this section of my Oracle deck collection. Thank you for joining me, and you guys have a lovely day. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care. Bye.